Hello and welcome to another episode of Sabbath School with Auntie Blessing. I hope you enjoy listening to this story and making your craft. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this new week and for helping us to see the sixth month of the year. We pray, Lord, that you please be with us as we study our lesson today and as we do our craft. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory verse for this week is from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. And it says, The God of all grace will restore you and make you strong. Now, let's learn the action. The God, the God of all grace. Of all grace will restore you, will restore you and make you strong. And make you strong. The God of all grace will restore you and make you strong. First Peter five. Four. Ten. Let's do it all together. The God of all grace will restore you and make you strong. First Peter five four, ten. Now you may practice the action until you memorize the verse. The message for this week's story is. Even though bad things may happen, God loves me. The title for this week's story is Food for One More. In our story for last week, we talked about how Elijah went to King Ahab and told him that there will be no rain for three years. Well, our story for today continues from last week. As it has not drained for so many months, the rivers and the streams began to dry up. Even the brook where Elijah was able to get water, the brook carry, even that brook was also dried up by now. Everywhere was brown and dusty, and the trees were just standing like skeletons in the like desert of sand because no one lives on them, and all the ground around is brown and dry. So it was a pitiful sight. But God still had to take care of his prophet Elijah. And what did he do? God told Elijah to go to a place called Zarephath and that there he had a woman there that he had prepared to take care of Elijah. So Elijah left the brook carry and traveled to Zarephath. At the gate of Zarephath he saw a widow packing up some sticks and then Elijah asked this woman, Mama, would you please bring me a jar of water? And could you also bring me some bread? And the woman was actually going to get the water for Elijah. But when he added the request that she should get him some bread, she stopped and she looked at him. And she told him that she does not have any bread. All she had was a handful of flour and a little oil in her jar. So what she was doing when Elijah met her was to make some bread so that she and her son would eat their last meal and wait to die because they didn't have food anymore. So that was the last meal that they wanted to eat and fully starve to death. But then Elijah told her that she should go and make some bread for him first and then make some for her and a son. He also added that God says 
the oil and the flour will not run out until he sends rain. Even though this woman was not an Israelite, she believed in God and put her faith in him. So Elijah followed her home and she made the bread for Elijah. And just as he said, for several months, she kept making bread from the oil and flour because she kept having what she needed for every meal. So it's like she makes for breakfast and then when it's lunchtime, she finds flour and oil again. And dinner, there's flour and oil again. So she was able to feed herself, her son, and Elijah for months. But one day, something bad happened. Her son became sick and he died. And she thought that maybe God was punishing her for something. And so she went to talk to Elijah that, Elijah, what do you have against me? Why did my son die? Of course, this was not God punishing her. I mean, it was been providing food for them throughout this time. So Elijah took the a son, the dead son, to his room where he's staying in a house. And then he cried to God to please return the life of the boy to him. God heard Elijah's prayer and the boy came back to life. So just as God cared about this woman and her problems with food and with the death of a son, God also cares about us and our problems. So sometimes bad things happen, but God still cares for us. Right now, the world is going through a very bad time because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Still, God cares for us. Some people might have lost relatives to COVID or so many bad things have gone in our lives because of this pandemic. But we should always remember that no matter how bad things have gotten, God still loves us and He cares about us. And He will send people to help us when we need it. And that is the story for this week. <laughs>
And that's our lesson for this week. See you next time.